way back. No? Yes? No? Save. Wow, that took a long time. I restarted it like a minute ago and so, like, no one saw it said anything. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Snickers bar. I think it might make business owners on this trip a bit more kind towards you if you uh, actually buy something, then you're a customer. It's a good sign. Board it up. Doing good yourself? Yeah, I'm from Canada and I'm uh, hitchhiking all around the United States through 50 states. Been through 29 so far. Just uh, another day in the life. So I live stream it all. If I can get my wallet in my pocket. It's stuck. Uh, it's on a website called Twitch TV. I can give you a card if you like. Uh, I've been, this is day 75, I believe. Yeah. 75, 29, uh, 29 states, 153 rides <laughs> on this trip. Thank you very much. If you do want, if you are curious, so you can find me. It's 220 or something like that. Let's just stop here for a second, have a Snickers, and then uh, drink some water, and then go out and ask people. Where are we now? Massachusetts. Flags and nice touch just picked up the last few days. Yeah, actually Matt gave it to me, the guy that put me up for the last three days in uh, Newport. He gave me a flag. I thought it fits really well with the Hitchhiking America thing. No flight, there was barely any traffic. Albeit Martha Stewart flew out at night. Guarantee that would have been a, a trending moment for the channel. <laughs> In that case, it was a Nintendo Wii when they first came out. Wouldn't have that been funny, Martha Stewart? We could have just chatted about our, our investing strategies. Maybe she could fill me in on any kind of like insider knowledge she has about, um, you know, maybe some stock picks. She's got maybe some insider knowledge that isn't maybe known to the public yet, you know? What happens on a private airplane stays on a private airplane.
Maha Investor Knowledge Club? Exactly. You know? I feel like you're in an elite club if you're flying private jets and stuff like that, and people within that community can be pretty tight-knit, you know? Loose lips, sink ships kind of thing. Is Subway still there? Haven't been in there forever? There's no Subway at this stop, but I'm sure there's Subways around. I'm sure there is. Have you been by anything haunted lately? Um, not that I know of. Have I had the Snickers Espresso yet? No. Also, I don't, I'm not a superstitious person, so I've been in some places that, in theory, maybe would, in, people might think would be haunted, but I've never experienced any kind of paranormal activity. How many kilos your backpack? Like, I say 50 to 60 pounds, depending on the food and water content, but, um, whatever that is in, in kilos, um, 20 something kilos. You're in a haunted area right now, so the, like this place right here is haunted. Like people said St. Augustine and stuff is like the haunt, most haunted city in the US and stuff like that, but um, at a restaurant, I'm at a, like a service station on the side of the highway. What would be a good name switch for you? I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know like, type of things that you enjoy, like, like kind of what, what you're all about. I know you sweet southern chick. Uh, grub trackers, thanks for the house. Should go to Salem, see where they did the witch hangings? Maybe. Trip is done, you should go on the H383 podcast and tell your best stories. Maybe. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. All I wanted to do is show people what hitchhiking is like. That's that's as far as I thought. If you go to Attleboro, there's a cemetery that grows green at night. That sounds creepy. That does sound creepy. Sweet and you're southern. Well, then your name doesn't sound that bad, then, does it, sweet southern chick? Doesn't sound that bad. I think Lyric lives in Massachusetts, gotta find out where he is and drop by maybe. I know of Lyric. What does he, what's his main game or thing? I know he's a large streamer. Mr. Moon also. I think I've watched his stream in the past. Does he stream Overwatch? Mr. Moon? What's your favorite brand of mechanical pencil? I haven't used mechanical pencil since high school, so we're talking six plus years ago, so I don't know. Mr. Moon streams everything? Okay, he's a variety streamer, okay. Favorite brand of cardboard? <laughs> well, there is a different quality level of cardboard. The nice, thick, corrugated stuff is actually really good. It's also multi-purpose. You can use it as a sleeping pad as well. It's actually quite insulating. Like, homeless people know what's up. When you see them sleeping on cardboard, corrugated cardboard, it's actually a good insulator. Keeps you, like if the ground's cold, that layer, layer of cardboard stops the cold from radiating through. different qualities of cardboard. I know my cardboard guys. Oh, Moon Moon is the Overwatch streamer, okay. I 
that you could stretch sometimes to relax? Like stretches and stay somewhere, like like take a stretch of relaxation, or literally stretch, like get some like you know stretching in. I don't know what those stretches were, but <laughs> you get the point. There is a huge streamer. Not sure where he is in Massachusetts. Let me look at where I'm at, actually. Because I have to make a decision. I'm sure I could get a ride right to Boston pretty quickly. Um, oh, come on. Phone's being silly. Um, just my thought is I might be bypassing Boston right now with the intention of going straight into Vermont to meet a friend uh, who will be here Wednesday. Alright, oh, so we are at the... Okay, so we're already past the 495. I thought maybe the 495 would be a, a decent option for bypassing right around Boston if I got someone that was like doing the whole 495 loop around. Uh, but we're already past that and we're at a service station going like straight north. So everyone going here is at least going to Brockton. If not, they're going to at least the 93 ring road around Boston. It looks like at this point, unless I get picked up by someone literally bypassing Boston by their own choice, I'm going to have to transit through Boston. Oh, I guess the 95. Yeah, it's actually... Okay, it kind of rings around Boston, but do you think that would be a good... I guess. Because then I think I'd... I'm trying to get to 93 North, right? Yeah, 93 North. Need some Dunkin' Donuts? I've had Dunkin' Donuts. Is it better in Massachusetts though? 93 to 89, yeah, that is, that is what I need. That is correct, so split on 89 just after Manchester. So Dunkin' Donuts in Canada. There might be a few, but I, it's not widespread. I'm gonna head west to Niagara. I don't think I'll be going to Niagara. Right now I'm going to Montpellier. I, I know, or Montpellier. If you're saying it French-like, I know you don't say it like that, but it's a French name, so I'm saying it French-like. Uh, and then meeting up with a friend, hitchhiking straight east to Portland, Maine, then down and actually going to Boston. Right now I'm trying to bypass Boston and then inland. So yeah, just past Manchester, or Concord, and then I'll go to the 89, heading that way, okay. Okay. Hill Ear, Mont Hill Ear. That's not very French. Hold up. Duncan started to master the qualities better because they have secret shoppers from corporate offices visiting Duncan junkies randomly. But I'm guessing most of their st do they bake stuff in store or is it like actually just like factory make par baked and then shipped off? Springfield Mass is where they made the gun in Springfield. That makes sense. Come to Springfield. Where is Springfield? Wait, that's way west. Yeah, it's way west. I won't be going through Springfield right now. Hartford is first. Everyone says these places, and I don't know what they are, or where they are. I don't understand. I'm just a Canadian, eh? Okay. Just let me be Canadian. Just got a Krispy Kreme, it's better. Were, you, were any of you here when I was hanging out with Kemchi uh, in North Carolina? 
and we went to a Dunkin' Donuts, and I walked in, and I'm like, I've never been to Dunkin' Don Don't or I've, I've never been to Krispy Kreme before. Do you? What do you recommend? They're like, Did you just say Krispy Kreme? <laughs> Oops. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, mistakes were made. So they pick me out right there. You should visit the old fire factory. Take six lefts at the stoplight and turn left. What? Where the old stop and shop burned down there years ago? You take six lefts at the stoplight. What stoplight? Old stop and shop burned down. That's the most precise, like, how am I supposed to know what that means? In the whole state of Massachusetts, take six lefts at the stoplight and turn left where the old stop and shop burned down three. <laughs> what? If you take six lefts, then it's gonna be like, if they're nine degree turns, like, left, 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 four, five, six. So you're just turning around. You're just gonna spin around in circles. <laughs> okay. Now the thing is, if they're driving into Boston, they drive up this 24, and they get to the 93, 95, whatever ring road thing around Boston. Can I hitchhike on that? There's some on ramps, but if someone just drops if they're if they're not going there, if they're going like right to, to Boston they'll they'll transit up through to what, the twenty eight? Or no, they'll, they'll go over to the ninety three into Boston. If I start driving that way, how do I go the other way? Because the, the junctions don't look very hitchhikeable. There's a few on ramps that might work, um, but unless someone drives me there, I'm kind of uh, up to the whim of the driver in that case. So that, that's going to be an interesting situation, but there's really not much I can do until someone picks me up and I figure out where they're going. Give you NASCAR directions? Just keep turning left until they tell you to stop. Conway? I feel like I... Where is that? That sounds really familiar. I did go through um, New Hampshire last fall, and North Conway sounds really familiar. Say Matt is now a hitch twitch legend up there with Miss Kylie and Clutch. I would say Matt is one of the hitch live legends. Um, and he... The, the thing about the, the other people, they were viewers before, and it was like coordinated that I would meet up with them. This guy, I went to a Thai restaurant, he was working there, he emailed me and offered me a place to stay, and things went from there. Just su like yeah, such unexpected events. Go to Brookline, the house JFK was born in, rides in that city, and Brookline is a city neighborhood just, okay. If I'm in the area, then that's probably a good idea. Get emergency vodka? Get? No, I haven't replenished my emergency liquor stores.
down the side. Wait. Wait, actually. Hold up. Hold up. I think I have something relevant. I just remembered something. <laughs> See this? See this water bottle? I left my water bottle on a random street because I forgot it. I was using it to prop up my backpack. Um, you see that? I bought this from this place right here. North Conway, New Hampshire. International Mountain Equipment. I was there and I bought this water bottle in North Conway. I have been there. I knew it sounded familiar. Still stuck in Rhode Island? No, I'm not. I'm in Massachusetts. When you were stuffy, I don't want to carry any more things. I've been streaming the Santiago, the, the 500 mile walk. Is that in Spain? Amazing music? Yeah, it was a beautiful town. Beautiful town. To Kelowna. I thought you were in Nanaimo. Yeah, I finished my double Snickers bar. Um, so that's 440 calories, 20 grams of fat. 48 grams of sugar. Ooh, baby. So at the airport? No, this is a, a highway rest stop, which is going to be great for hitchhiking. I just had to take a break, actually hydrate, because I didn't really drink much water today. And I did drink a little bit of alcohol last night, so it's probably good to get hydrated. Clearing all the debris out of my mouth. I'm eating. How many calories do you feel you need a day? I think if I'm doing a good hitchhiking day with, with lots of hiking of the hitchhiking, I'd like to eat like 3,000 calories. I inevitably usually don't get that, but I'd like that. If I could eat 3,000 calories every day, I would be happy. I'd be extremely happy. I'd, like, I'm already happy with what I'm currently eating. This is the best I've eaten on a trip before. But I'd be more happy if uh, I could eat more. Alright, let's go. It's time. But yeah, that is funny. Got this water bottle in North Conway because I lost my other analogy. What are you doing right now? I was eating a Snickers bar and having some water because I was thirsty. And now I'm going to be hitchhiking once I pack up my bag. I'm unsure if I want to just thumb it at the at the exit onto the highway, or if I want to ask people. It's the best stop, spot ever to get a ride. I understand. Yeah, I, I I know. I know. These types of places are the best of the best of the best. Tom it. What's Tomming? Just Tom it, man. What did Tom do? And why did we name something after him? Ask him the parking lot. That's probably the most efficient at a place like this. Probably the most efficient. Alright, let's do it. I'm just 
throw out my garbage, and then we'll go. Yep, it is me. Thanks for resubscribing. Welcome back to your, for your second month of being a Twitch hacker, and thank you for your continued support and all the other supports you've supported me with. And all your gifted subs and donations and stuff. I do appreciate that. Thank you. You ready? Let's extend you a little bit. Just extend, there we go. Alright, let's go out there. I'd prefer not ask inside. It's a little bit to do inside a business. Outside's a bit more. Uh, Okay, so everyone stopped here, is going north. Everyone who stops here is going north. So I just have to uh, start asking. No working. There will be no working. Yep, it's me. Thank you for gifting up the serious matter. Serious matter. Welcome back for your second month. Being a hitchhiker. In. Yep, it's me. Thank you for all the supports that you support. Sorry? Yeah, I, I run a live stream. I'm from Canada and uh -huh. I've uh, been hitchhiking around the United States showcasing the process, the experience of hitchhiking. So I've been through 29 states so far. Uh, I've been picked up 153 times on the trip. And now I'm trying it's to get. With you? No, you get some odd people. I'm sure. But uh, most people are just normal people going about their day-to-day -day business and they'll just yeah. see a stranger and they'll give them a ride. What about you? I'm just stopping here. We're going hiking. You're going hiking? Yeah. Oh, there's hiking trails back here? Um, up a little more, but I oh, was okay. just curious what yeah, you Yeah, curious were doing. what I was doing. Yeah, so. We'll be out in one minute. Yeah. yeah. What you doing? Uh, I'm from Canada and I run a hitchhiking live stream. So I've been through 29 states on this trip uh, documenting the process oh, of hitchhiking. Oh, cool. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. That's nice. What What's your name? To. Trevor. Trevor. You got a website? Yeah, I'll give you a card. Yeah, if you don't mind. I just, it's funny, my daughter just um, texted me. She lives in Chicago now. One of her, um, one, like one of her sorority sisters. Yeah. Just made the halfway point on the Appalachian Trail. Oh, really? Yeah, just sent her a picture and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a huge achievement. That's a huge uh, yeah. trail. Yeah, it is. It's a, what's that, two months or something to do half of it? I'm sorry? How long does it take to do the whole through hike usually? About four months. Yeah, so Almost two months of hiking. That's awesome. 2,100. So that's where if you go to twitch.tv forward slash hitch underscore live, that's that's where you can see me hitchhiking about. Uh, and you were you were hiking around. Is what uh, you got? Well, yeah, we're going up the road. There's a uh, it's like a like a state park or whatever oh, it's okay. called, the Blue Hills. Yeah. But like for example, in New Hampshire. Yeah. There's um there's 48 mountains that are over 4,000 feet. And that's a thing to do. I did them. Yeah. Well, every one of them, you know. Oh, okay. So, in the past, but yeah. I'm, I'm 55. I'm getting you know ready to like sell my business, and I want to hike the Appalachian Trail too. You know. Yeah. Like next year or something like that? Uh, roughly. Yeah. You know, about a year. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's a big thing to unwind out of a business. So we'll take yeah. I see. Yeah. But, okay. You know, no, that'd be sick. I, I really, I'm interested in doing some through hiking, whether that's the PCT or, yeah, PCT. or the Appalachian Trail. And, the, you know, you know the, the Triple Crown, right? Which is the PCT. And the, the um, Continental. Continental Divide yeah. and the AT. Yeah, yeah, that's where I would love to do. You want to Triple Crown it? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> three years? Three, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would love to. There's a guy <laughs> named, you can look him up, his name is Swami. That, Swami? That's yeah. his uh, trail name. Yeah. He did them all in one year. One year? No word of a lie, dude. <laughs> Crazy. You should read his, his journal. Like, most of them go have some amount of mountain passes. Like, 
he would have just <laughs> done winter ascents of mountains or something right. like that? Uh, well, he, you know what they do is they do portions of each one. Yeah. They strategize. You just oh, make them. okay. So the AT, yeah. um, you can do quite a bit of it, and then you go back and just summit Mount Katahdin at the end a little bit. Okay, so you, then, you pick your summer sections where it's more right. mountainous and cold, and then you, right. in the winter you can do like your southern sections, exactly. like the, the desert near Mexico and stuff like that, and on the PCT and stuff. That makes exactly. sense. Okay. I thought they were just like yeah, one trail, like, yeah. next trail, next trail. No, There's they a mix few it up. People that have done it that way. Do you know of a? Um, uh, uh, it's a company, you know, a little small cottage industry, you know, ultralight backpack company called um, Zpack. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that guy, he's done a lot of hiking. I think, I think he did the triple crown. Yeah, he got the triple crown. Yeah, he got the triple crown. Yeah, he's a good yeah. dude. I've heard of those. Uh, yeah. They're a little pricey, but like really lightweight bags, like right. minimalist. But that's what yeah. we're looking for. That's yeah, the big thing for. is the Cuban fiber. It's strong and very light. That's yeah. the big thing that he's buying here. Yeah. I have a, I have some of his stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna try and drop the weight down because yep. this isn't that light. Right, right. <laughs> is that what you're doing? Hitchhiking, like? Yeah, yeah. it's all hitchhiking. Crazy. Yeah, because I've done it in uh, 25 countries. I've been picked up. Really? Uh, over 850 times in my life. No shit. Uh, and this is the first time I've documented it though. So, wow. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a. a you woman. Hear what the highway guard is? So we can yeah, 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 yeah. But, but see, there's a woman right now in Germany. She was a um, an activist. Yeah. And she she got uh, picked up by this guy from Morocco. You know, because yeah. all those countries are kind of close together. But anyway, he I guess he murdered her. But she was just like free spirit, checking around. Yeah. yeah. Stuff happens. Just hope it doesn't. And you try to look out for yourself the best you can. I talk to my drivers before I get in. If I get a bad vibe from them, I, I turn down the ride. Oh yeah. <coughs> there you. Um, yeah. So, also the stream I think keeps me safer as well. Yeah. Because uh, I have to ask for permission to film before I get into their car to be like, hey, I'm documenting the process of hitchhiking. I have a live stream going. Is that something you're comfortable with? Yeah. If they had any. Just in case. So now, what what direction are you headed now? Uh, north, uh, well, ideally I just want to bypass Boston right now, I'm going to it later, but, uh, just north. You're going where? Like, I'm trying to meet my friend in Vermont right now, oh, Vermont. Okay. in, uh, yeah. on, like, Wednesday. Yeah. So, ideally I'd stop in Boston, but I don't really have time. Yeah. But we're gonna go there, then over to Portland, Maine, and then back down, and then I'll cool. cut inland. Um, nice. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna keep you, but yeah. excellent talking to you. Bro. Yeah, you as well. Hey, yeah. I'll check out your site. For sure, have a good one. Go to Boston? I mean, I am, after I do the stuff that I'm trying to do right now. I'm going Montpellier, don't make fun of how I'm saying that, um, then Portland, Maine, then Boston, and then Inland. Who's in Vermont? I'm meeting a friend there. And then we're going to travel together for a few days. I think you guys would be curious to see what traveling or hitchhiking is like with two people. You're in Vermont? Viewer? No, it's a, it's an old friend. It's an old friend. All right, strategize without annoying everyone. Don't flag down any U-Haul trucks. Yeah, we won't be doing any U-Haul anything. Screw U-Hauls. Try to hitch to the beach. In Orange County, I was on. I was in at the beach in Orange County, was I not? Yeah, I understand how time works, Panther David. I understand that the sun does go down in the evening. I am well versed in time. Uh, let's ask these people over here. Hi, sorry to bother you. I'm a documentarian from Canada. I document the process and the experience of hitchhiking. I'm trying to get anywhere north direction Boston or beyond. Are you heading in that direction? No. All right, have a good one. Oh, now he escaped. He didn't look happy with that.
was a Kennedy. It makes you think he's a Kennedy. Understand. You do not walk anywhere or do you only look for rides? I do walk some places, but I'm not allowed to be on this highway at all. So I, I literally can't leave here until I catch a ride out of here. I think you're a spy. All those Canadian spies in the United States. Those dang Canadians spying on America. I know you're very careful, but hitchhiking is not a very safe endeavor, but I do wish you all the best, my friend. Well, I think it's probably safer than you think it is. I'm going to say that you haven't done it. So you're based on the safety level of something you haven't done. Just like, I don't know, maybe you think skydiving is not very safe. But if you actually look at the statistics of how many people skydive and how many accidents there are, it's actually very small. And there's not really any statistics along with hitchhiking. Yes, things bad things have happened. But if you talk to anyone that's hitchhiked, it's a lot safer than people think it is. It's going to rain in about three hours. All right. Is the trail behind Bergen that'll take you to Route 104? There you go. So at all, I do feel it. I do feel it in my upper body. people. Still waiting on that sub only hit show? I told it to everyone. Serious matters. Hey, sorry to bother you. I'm a documentarian from Canada. Okay. I document the process and experience of hitchhiking. So I've been through 29 oh. states so far and I just live stream everything. That's awesome. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to go north direction Boston or beyond. Uh -huh. uh, do you happen to be heading that, that way? Uh, I'm taking this exit right over oh, here. Oh, the first exit? Yeah, <laughs> okay. so no, uh, I'm not. <laughs> not really going anywhere? All right, no. well, thank you. Sorry, I hope you find someone else. I'm sure I will. Give you a ride. This is a good spot, so, yeah. but thank you. you Have a good one. Back on the road today? Yes. By the exit of the parking lot? I could just throw a sign at the end there rather than uh, asking people. Like, it won't be a problem to find a ride here. It's just a matter of time. But maybe I'll do some traditional thumb on the road stuff. Now there's a truck right here, kind of in the spot I'd like to be. But let's just do some thumb stuff with a, a north sign. Let's do some, uh, some north hitchhiking sign stuff. Then you catch everyone, because when I'm asking people, inevitably people slip through the cracks. But uh, there's only one exit through here, and if I'm standing there, you catch every single person. Thumb stuff? That kind of thumb thing? Uh, videos in Louisiana, Mississippi, I only can't find them. The history, it should be in... in uh highlighted videos. If it's not, that sucks because Louisiana is when I caught my last airplane hitchhike. So, let's see. So I'll hitchhike right here. There's trucks where I'd like them to stop, but there's like so much space right here that it doesn't really matter. Um, use your pinky or just like stick both out. It's kind of like, like sipping tea with your pinky out. Anyway, uh, let's get up my north sign. Let's set the sign down or set the bag down. Documentarian is legit and many of these videos in 50 years. Yeah, I think it's cool that this is all documented and recorded. I've lost, I know I've lost some days because I'm a lazy person and I forgot to highlight the videos within 14 days. Now I've got 60 days, so I've got more time. Oh, that was 
the people I talk to. The nice people, the, the through hike and stuff. Use the north side. It's a classic. balance rock. All the rocks here are really small, but you don't need that much rock to make it uh, make it work.
So he says that hitchhiking is banned in Massachusetts. It's not, but um, so I'm asking him to look up the, the state legislature that says it's banned. I'm quite confident it's not. Because, well, he just came up and said, oh, so a hitchhiking's banned in Massachusetts. So I'm like, I don't think it is. Can you actually bring up the state legislature that says it's banned? Because, but I, I, I brought it up like this. I'm like, I don't believe it's banned. Uh, I did do my research before I came here. I told him the states it is banned in, and I asked for him if he could pull it up from my own knowledge, just so I have confirmation where in the, the, the state law uh, it says I can't hitchhike. He said Massachusetts. So he's actually doing that right now. You're on a turnpike? I'm on a private property which is a, a rest station. But the thing is, what is he gonna get me to do? I'm I'm on the high. I'm on a, on a private rest station on the side of the highway. But like, what are you gonna tell me to do? Get a bus? I'm on the highway. Rest stop is owned by. So, wait, Massachusetts owns Dunkin' Donuts and. Uh, it is prohibited? Since when? on the turnpike. Wait, and is the state highway a turnpike? Turnpike, when I'm when people say that, I think interstate highway. I'm on a state highway, state highway 24. You can be arrested for it. If I get arrested for it, then so be it stupid laws, but... This isn't the turnpike? Alright. They won't be generous to a Canadian? Why? <laughs> Run. <laughs> Got my ID now. Find a ride yet? Maybe with this guy. Get to ride with him? I'll try. Well, actually, no, this is a really good spot. I'd, I'd rather him not take me to some random town near here and be like, hey, buy, take a bus. Because uh, that sucks. Worst case, just run. <laughs> See, the thing is, I had no other option but to challenge him there, because otherwise it's just like, oh, sorry, I'll just walk? I can't. You're not allowed to be a pedestrian on this state highway. So my options for leaving here are either he give me a ride, or I, I live here forever. I move in to this, this rest stop.
just gonna pack it up. It'll be one minute. So yes, I'm allowed to hitchhike in Massachusetts, but he's saying this is state property, so I can't. So I have to go to. Uh, uh, he's gonna drive me to the next thing, so I'm gonna. I have to turn off the stream and turn it back on once he drives me to somewhere where I can't hitchhike. So I'll be right back in five minutes. <laughs> 